prayer for deliverance from the spirit of Pharaoh and Egypt. O Lord of hosts, the God who delivered Israel with a mighty hand, we come before you in the authority of Jesus Christ, our Deliverer. You are the same yesterday, today and forever. And as you overthrew Pharaoh and broke the chains of Egypt, so shall you deliver us from every form of bondage, oppression and spiritual captivity. Your word declares in Exodus chapter 3 verses 78. And the Lord said, I have surely seen the affliction of my people which are in Egypt and have heard their cry by reason of their taskmasters, for I know their sorrows, and I am come down to deliver them out of the hand of the Egyptians and to bring them up out of that land unto a good land and a large, unto a land flowing with milk and honey. Today, Lord, we cry out to you as the children of Israel cried out, asking for deliverance from every spiritual Pharaoh holding us captive. Pharaoh represents more than an earthly ruler. It symbolizes systems of oppression, cycles of bondage and stubborn spiritual forces that resist our progress. Just as Pharaoh subjected your people to hard labor and bitterness, the enemy seeks to wear us down but we declare in the name of Jesus that his power is broken. Your word assures us in Colossians chapter 1 verse 13, who hath delivered us from the power of darkness and hath translated us into the kingdom of his dear son. We stand in this truth, proclaiming that we are no longer bound by the powers of darkness. In the name of Jesus, we renounce every spiritual Egypt in our lives. Egypt represents sin, worldly dependencies, and rebellion against God. Your word warns in Isaiah chapter 31 verse 1, Woe to them that go down to Egypt for help, and stay on horses, and trust in chariots, because they are many, but they look not unto the Holy One of Israel. We repent for every way we have trusted in worldly systems instead of relying on you. We forsake all connections to Egypt, both physically and spiritually, and we embrace your call to freedom. Lord, we declare war against every Pharaoh-like spirit that seeks to enslave us. Your word declares in Exodus chapter 6 verse 1, Then the Lord said unto Moses, Now shalt thou see what I will do to Pharaoh, for with a strong hand shall he let them go, and with a strong hand shall he drive them out of his land. Arise, O Lord, with your strong hand and fight for us. We command every Pharaoh-like spirit in our lives to release us now in Jesus' name. Let every chain of oppression break. Let every system of bondage collapse under the power of the Almighty. You are the God who judges Pharaoh and the gods of Egypt, proving that you alone are God. As it is written in Exodus chapter 12 verse 12, for I will pass through the land of Egypt this night and will smite all the firstborn in the land of Egypt, both man and beast. And against all the gods of Egypt, I will execute judgment. I am the Lord. Father, judge every false god, idol and spiritual power that opposes your purpose in our lives. Tear down every high place, dismantle every stronghold, and nullify every decree of darkness in Jesus' name. By the blood of Jesus, we plead for protection and total deliverance. Just as the Israelites place the blood of the Lamb on their doorposts, we apply the blood of Jesus over our lives, families, and all that concerns us. Your word declares in Exodus chapter 12 verse 13, and the blood shall be to you for a token upon the houses where ye are. And when I see the blood, I will pass over you, and the plague shall not be upon you to destroy you. Father, let the blood of Jesus be a shield against every attack, every plague, and every strategy of the enemy. We stand on the promise of total deliverance as seen in Exodus chapter 14 verse 13. And Moses said unto the people, Fear ye not, stand still, and see the salvation of the Lord, which he will show to you today. 
For the Egyptians whom ye have seen today, ye shall see them again no more forever. We declare that every spiritual Egyptian pursuing us will drown in the Red Sea of your judgment. Let every force of darkness that has oppressed us be permanently destroyed, never to rise again. Father, we declare that our deliverance is not just for freedom but for worship. Your word says in Exodus chapter 8 verse 1, Let my people go that they may serve me. We proclaim that we are delivered to serve you in holiness, truth, and obedience. Every spirit of distraction, laziness, or rebellion that hinders our worship is bound and cast out in Jesus' name. We recognize, Lord, that Pharaoh's heart was hardened and he resisted letting your people go. Likewise, there are stubborn spiritual forces resisting our freedom, but we trust in your power for you declared in Exodus chapter 7 verse 3, And I will harden Pharaoh's heart and multiply my signs and my wonders in the land of Egypt. Multiply your signs and wonders in our lives, O God, and show the enemy that no power can stand against you. Every taskmaster spirit is overthrown, as it is written in Exodus chapter 1 verses 13 to 14, and the Egyptians made the children of Israel to serve with rigor, and they made their lives bitter with hard bondage. Lord, we break free from every bitter bondage. We reject every spirit of delay, stagnation, and oppression. We claim our liberty in Christ, for it is written in Galatians chapter 5, verse 1. Stand fast, therefore, in the liberty wherewith Christ hath made us free, and be not entangled again with the yoke of bondage. We thank you, Lord, that you not only deliver, but also restore. Just as you led Israel out of Egypt with great wealth and victory, we declare restoration over every area of our lives. Your word says in Exodus chapter 12 verse 36, and the Lord gave the people favor in the sight of the Egyptians, so that they lent unto them such things as they required, and they spoiled the Egyptians. We ask for divine favor and restoration of all that has been stolen, delayed, or withheld by the enemy. We rejoice that through Jesus Christ, every form of captivity is broken. Your word declares in John chapter 8 verse 36, if the Son therefore shall make you free, ye shall be free indeed. We stand in this freedom, proclaiming that no power of darkness, no Pharaoh-like spirit, and no system of oppression can hold us captive. We are free to worship, free to prosper, and free to fulfill our God-given destinies. We pray for discernment and vigilance, Lord. Just as the Israelites were tempted to look back to Egypt when challenges arose in the wilderness, help us to move forward in faith. Your word. In Philippians chapter 3 verses 13 to 14 reminds us, Forgetting those things which are behind and reaching forth unto those things which are before, I press toward the mark for the prize of the high calling of God in Christ Jesus. Finally, Lord. We pray for a testimony of deliverance that will glorify your name. Your word in Psalm chapter 105 verses 37 to 38 says, He brought them forth also with silver and gold, and there was not one feeble person among their tribes. Egypt was glad when they departed, for the fear of them fell upon them. Let our freedom be so complete that even our enemies will acknowledge your power at work. We seal this prayer with thanksgiving, trusting in your word in Jeremiah chapter 33 verse 3. Call unto me and I will answer thee and show thee great and mighty things which thou knowest not. We declare that every chain is broken, every yoke is destroyed, and every Pharaoh has been defeated. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, our Deliverer, we pray. Amen.